Hello and welcome to Outlook this week. Uh, the cover story we have now this week is on the you know old contentious issue of Kashmir. Uh, but then there is a new fresh look at it now by the Modi new Modi, Modi government uh, as they're calling it 2.0. So what exactly are these? Uh, what exactly is the you know the strategy the you know the multi-pronged uh, strategy that you talk about? Hmm. If you would like to talk a little bit about that. See, uh, first of all, the, uh, Kashmir has really been in the news for the last few days. Yeah. And the government has been sending in forces there and everything. Uh, after the uh, 100 companies that were sent earlier, now 25 more companies have been sent. Mm. And uh, so basically more and more troops are being uh, pushed into the state. And all kinds of speculations are happening, you know, ki what, is, you know what is going to happen there. Mm. So actually... The thing is, uh, most probably what the Modi government is moving to what they say is mainstreaming of Kashmir. Mm -hmm. They say this problem is festered for a long time now, it's been three it's three decades old. Mm. Three decades is only militancy, but anyway, even otherwise, right. it's been seven decades and there's not really been, you know, really a happy, peaceful situation there. So now mm. they want that, okay, once and for all, let's kind of uh, I see. have some kind of a solution long-lasting solution so they have uh, lots of uh, measures in mind mm. and uh, so what would they be I mean uh, troop movement is one of course I mean though that we can't really say what no, it means troop uh, movement is in anticipation of, of what is to come yes okay. is in anticipation of what they're planning to do so what would they be the one or two major things uh, that they have in mind one is of course the details are all there in the in the, yeah, in the story one is uh, uh, one what is most likely to happen is delimitation mm -hmm. because elections are going to be announced uh, most probably after uh, August 15th mm -hmm. and uh, or maybe a little later when Amarnath Yatra gets over. Okay. So after that election to the state assembly are likely to be announced and because it's in president, under yeah. president's rule now. Yeah. So they want delimitation to happen before that. Okay. So delimitation will give some advantage to BJP in the sense because uh, uh, just now the way the assembly seats are uh, organized there, mm -hmm. Srinagar has maximum. Okay. And though Jammu and Ladakh, yeah. they have uh, 80 per 80 percent of the land mm -hmm. and 60 percent of the population. Yeah. So they are at a disadvantage. Okay. Okay. So uh, the contention is that uh, hmm. that the Kashmir dominates the entire politics of the state. Oh, okay. So they want to change that. Right. So they want to kind of integrate the entire thing. So delimitation is one, and Article 35A is another one that. Uh, they may move on, but that is in, in Supreme Court. So most probably they'll wait for the Supreme Court order to come on that. And as you said, it's in uh, the state is under president's rule right now. And you met the governor. We have an interview with the governor. Yeah. What are what were his thoughts? I mean, what did he mean? Uh, what were his main points? See, even the governor says that the state has been more or less uh, peaceful in the sense there has been no violent uh, incident of violence. It's true. Since he, at least yeah, the yeah. uh, last six months has been yeah. pretty okay. Yeah. And uh, the cross border infiltration is also down. Mm -hmm. That could be also because of pressure on Pakistan from FATF and everything. Yes. There are lots of other issues also. Mm -hmm. But the basic thing which the governor has also said is that the, there's a fatigue factor that is set in now. Mm. So that is the first thing that uh, indicates that the state or the people are ready for peace. Mm. That is what happened in Punjab also when the mm. fatigue factor yeah. set in, when people wanted ter terror to end, that is when it ended. Mm. So even the governor says that the fatigue has set in now. Mm. So this is just the right time to uh, okay. actually move on any solution. You know, let's uh, go across to Nasir Ganai, yeah. who is our reporter in uh, Srinagar and who is also written a uh, part of this cover yes. story. Uh, Nasir, what is the situation as you know, uh, Bhavna was just explaining the new strategy that the government has come up with. What is the situation on the ground in Kashmir in Srinagar? For past 10 days, there are a lot of rumors and speculations in the valley. These rumors and speculations have been set by the series of the orders issued by the government. First order was issued by the government that was about the deployment of 10,000 troops in the valley. The second order was also issued by, by the railways, which also its personnel to be ready for the 10 months of unrest and how to tackle the mob when it, they confront it. A third order was issued by the Jammu and Kashmir police seeking information about the mosques in the in Srinagar city. These orders led to these speculations that the government of India is going to do away with the Article 370 or it is going to tinker with the Article 35A or it is going to try to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Now yesterday, the, another order has been issued sending 
some 200 companies of paramilitary forces to Kashmir Valley and also early in the morning the Air Force and the Army has been put on high alert. All these things have led to speculation that there is something else also like the uh, like the tension along the along the along the LOC. So Governor Satipal Malik has perfectly summed up the situation by saying that the situation at present is normal, but he has no he, he doesn't know what will happen in, in the future. That is what everyone is worried about what will happen uh, happen tomorrow or what day after tomorrow because of these measures taken by the government. Okay, so there is um, I mean it's sort of a mixed bag it seems, but let's yeah. see I mean uh, uh, you know let's see let's hope this this uh, strategy works yeah. and there is some result this time. Absolutely, it's long overdue. Long overdue. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.